If you're looking for that fun, unique, expressive piercing that no one else has, maybe you should check out the horizontal eyebrow piercing. I told you this piercing's pretty rare. Here in Vegas in my shop, we're actually pretty high volume and I actually do a lot more bridge piercings than horizontal eyebrows. Now with this piercing, it is a surface piercing and you're gonna wanna use a surface bar, which looks similar to one of these up here. Now, typically you're gonna wanna use a 16 gauge, not a 14 gauge, and I like the flat surface bars so you don't see the bar in the middle. As you can see up here, there's round surface bars and flat ones. The flat ones are just a lower profile. Some other piercers will actually use a curved barbell and it can work on this one. I just feel that the rejection rate does get a little bit higher and it's a little bit more prone to problems. Now, the other thing I like about the surface bar is the gems would be more forward facing. If you use a curved barbell and you put gems on the end, they kind of face outward, not directly forward. So that's why I like the surface bars. This piercing also can dramatically change the way you look. As you can see up here on Abe, how we change the angle here. You can see how it makes you happy, angry, sad. The expressions vary quickly determined by the angle of the piercing. So play around with the dots, figure out what you're looking for before you actually go in. As far as surface piercings go, this one heals a little bit faster and better than most. Between this and the nape, it's a tough call which one heals better. But this one's generally softer tissue and one of the bigger problems that people have with surface piercings is things being hit. Hopefully you're not getting hit in the face too often. Now, as far as the healing time, any surface piercing is probably gonna take a minimum of six months to heal. For this one, six months, maybe even up to a year, but probably closer to the six months. With it being a rare piercing, we really don't know how this feels, do we? There's only one way to find out. Check out the painometer. That doesn't look too bad. Maybe you should give it a shot. This piercing is pretty fun because you can change the beads out fairly easily compared to most other surface piercings. Think about it, the back of your neck or on your wrist, they're tough to change, but this one, you can stand in front of the mirror and you can actually change those beads out. Now, it is a temperamental piercing like most surface piercings, so I don't suggest changing it out a lot, but you do have a lot of options. You could add bigger gems, bead clusters. The options are pretty awesome. It's not very painful. It heals better than most surface piercings and it's rare. So what do you think of this piercing? Should we try to make this one the most popular piercing out there? It sure would be fun. Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you like my video, make sure you give me a like, subscribe, share this, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. We'll see you all in the next video.